Hello everybody. This time I would like to model a heat exchanger. For that I go to top view, shift A and add a circle with 16 sides and a radius of 0.2 meters. I have no clue how big these things are. Then I tap to edit mode, F to fill in, I to inset it like this. Then I can select these vertices and these ones, press um, X and delete vertices. Then I select everything with the A key, grab it on X and bring this over to about here. I think I can now add a uh, mirror modifier over X and Y and will take clipping. I just quickly show what happens if this one is not ticked. If I select this, for example, press E to extrude and then extrude along uh, X, then you see I can, it doesn't stop in the middle. If I activate clipping and I grab it on X, then you see it stops exactly in the middle and if merge is tick then these two vertices are merged. Okay, now let me select with right control, a right click control and select these vertices here. Then I extrude in X to about here then scale in X to zero, mm. grab in X and we have one, two, three, four. Mm. Shift. Okay, now I select uh, these edges here, shift D to duplicate and then in Y lift it up to about here and scale in Y to zero. Now I can select both and right click and bridge edge loops. Okay, now I need to insert edges in here and in here uh, in a number which makes sense. So as you know, I do not use Control R anymore. I use Alt Q. It should work. One, two, three. Now this seems about the same distance. And here I put in one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is also the same distance. And if we select everything here, we see I have 12 faces. That's a good number because this will be uh, the number of objects I do in the vertical area. You will see that later. Now it's time to apply. No, no, no. There is a tiny little problem. These edges may look as if they would be exactly the same distance, but in fact they are not. So I right click, go to loop tools and click on space. And you might not have noticed it was a tiny little bit only 
where these uh, different edges have moved to, but now they are all at exactly the same distance. Okay, now I go tap to object mode and apply this modifier. Then I add another modifier, the array modifier with merge active and I want to have three, four. Then I apply it and I add a simple deform modifier with bend around Z and uh, an angle of 360 degrees and apply it. I would not have to apply everything, but this is such a small number of, of faces and vertices, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now I tap to edit mode, select everything, go to my quick favorites and merge by distance and it has removed 25 vertices. That's a funny number. Anyway, if we have a problem, it will show up later. So select everything, shift S and selection to cursor, which is exactly in the middle. Now I tap, I go to edge mode, Alt, select this, E, right click to activate the extrude tool, S to scale, and I see if we really are in the middle. Yes, looks good. Okay, so I extrude to about here. Now I select the outer edges. Extrude, right click and scale to about here. Then I grab it in Z and pull it down to here. Now I go to the side view or the front view. Select all these faces here and we have 96, which is what I expected. Okay. Now, um, let's see, I need four, one, two, three, four on either side, but only the edges, one, shift, control, no, 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 let's start again one shift and then control three four five six seven eight okay now i can extrude this in z down to about here okay and then i select all these faces Press the P key and make it its own selection. Tap to object mode, select it, go back to edit mode. Now I add in an edge here to about here. Select this part and this part and grab it in Z. Bring it down to here. Okay, now I go to uh, Polygon mode again, press the C key for paint selection with the middle map. Sorry, I can make this bigger or smaller. So I select this, right click to deactivate the tool, and then I inset this to about here, X delete faces. Then in vertex mode, I select the bottom, these vertices here, grab them in Z to make it a bit bigger. Okay, now we can select everything, go to top view 
and uh, go to the spin tool. Let me see something. I just learned something from uh, a comment in uh, one of my other uh, tutorials, namely that I, if I get the wrong axis selected, I can select the proper one here in the spin tool options. But here it is okay, it goes around Z and I click on the plus here, select both, then control J to make it one object, then tap to uh, edit mode, select in X-ray mode, select all these edges or vertices, then Q and merge by distance and we have removed 96 vertices. Good. Now I can go to the side view, grab in Z, ah, wrong one, select everything, grab in Z, bring it up to about here. Now tap to object mode again and apply location, rotation and scale. I always take all the three because, uh, well, it's not a big effort. Now I can select everything, add another mirror modifier, mirror on Z, not on X, apply it, go back to edit mode, select X-ray mode again, select these, 192, good. Now I scale, uh, scale it Z to zero and merge by distance and we have merged 96 vertices. Okay, so far so good. Next I will add uh, a solidify modifier, modify, solidify and make it not too thick to the inside like so, apply it, go back to edit mode. Now I can select all the sharp edges and check that we didn't select something we did not want to. No, looks all good. Then control B and bevel this. Let's see. Yes, that's good. With uh, two segments and profile of one. Then tap to object mode, right click, shade smooth and this looks pretty good. So this is the case for our heat exchanger. Now we need the copper pipes inside. For that I go to uh, front view, grab everything in Z and bring it up to about here. Then I add a new circle and align it to view, make it point 0.1, 16 sides is okay. Then I grab it in Z, no, in X and bring it out to about here. Then I go to the modifiers tab, add an array modifier, give it a little bit of distance and then I use two, three, four, five, six. Six makes sense. 
7 doesn't make any sense. So 6 and apply it. Now I do again object, apply, location, rotation and scale. Then I can select this and grab it on Z and bring it up and let's have a look inside. Grab in Z and bring it down till it sinks into the case like here. Now I go back to uh, object mode. Select this object and go to the screw modifier with uh, 48 should be enough and 48 here and I want to start with maybe eight iterations and in the side view we can go up with the screw value and I want to have a bit of air in between here also then go up with the iterations to here that's good now I select everything and rotate in Y rotate in Y by 90 degrees then grab in Z and bring it up to here and grab in X bring it to here then I add a plane so shift A mesh plane and scale it up by 22 now our heat exchanger is of course not finished but I will not put all the stuff to uh, at the pipes and, and where uh, the connections were be because of time reasons and you can do this yourself you can also make a nice stand and whatever you like so let's go to rendered view we need a light and I make the light an area light with uh, some X and Y size then I duplicate so shift D this light over to here and on this red dot I can exactly tell where I want it to uh, shine so I grab this one again and yellow dot again so we get a nice view on the copper windings like so okay now it's time to add materials first I select the inner part go to my material tab and make a base color which is something copperish with uh, metal and it is shiny not too much like so then I select the casing add a new mesh make it metallic and also a bit mm, roughness then I select the plane and add a new material make this uh, kind of red like so then I use numpad 0 and lock camera to view then I scale this and choose the look that we don't see the start and the end of the cuts of the copper
like so. Okay, now I want to have the cycles engine and this might be a bit bright so let me select the light make it a bit darker maybe also the other one like so yes that looks pretty good then I use 66% um, to get the YouTube thumbnail and I want to have 1024 samples when it's rendered and press F12. Okay, and here it is, our almost finished heat exchanger. I hope uh, you liked this and you can use some of the methods. Thanks for watching, take care and see you another time. Bye bye.